In this question, we are going to use table mode to complete a table and then draw the graph of a function. Question 3, part A, we need to complete the table of values for the function y equals 2x squared minus 2x minus 4. We're going to use table mode on the calculator to help us out with this question, so press mode and choose table mode. Carefully input your function of x, that is the equation for y that we have above, using the alpha and the right bracket key to give us a letter x. And when you're done, press equals. Just check you have the right equation before you press equals. The start value should be the smallest x value from the table, so the one on the far left. In this case it's negative 2. End is the last or final value in our table, which in this case is 3. Step is how much the numbers increase each time, and in this example they're increasing by 1. So the step is 1. Press equals to generate the table. Now you need to be careful here. The orientation for the table on the calculator is different from the one that we have in the question, but we can still find the relevant y values for each x value and complete this particular table. So fill in the table from your values in the calculator. It's quite common on the GCSE to be given some of the y values already in the table. If this is the case, what you can do is you can check that the calculator gives you the same values as you've already been given, and that way you can be confident that you've inputted the equation correctly. For question 3 part b, we're going to plot the graph of our function of x. We're going to use the values from the table as each column represents a coordinate that we can plot on the grid. Once you've plotted your points, you need to draw a parabola, which is a U-shaped curve, as smoothly and as accurately as you can to represent all of the points which are on this particular graph. 